efficiency, creating processes to achieve fiscal gain. Every one of your clients you are talking to are people who are what? They are busy. They are on the go. Things are moving. So what you all need to focus on is how working with Cisco, with the network security and keeping that renewal and going will help them save time. They need to understand that their business is very important and that keeping that security, that data, everything they have private is important. But people want things to be efficient. Time is of the essence. These people that you're speaking to don't have a lot of time, and they don't really sometimes know all the ins and outs of the security. But what do they know? If you are creating for them value, which is something considered to be important and beneficial to someone, if you are giving value to them, then what? They want to continue to work with you. It's easier to get someone to renew and work with you if you provide value for them throughout the entire process. In this day and age, everybody has comparable products. But what needs to show is that you know what the person is doing, the competition is doing, so you can go above and beyond for those clients. You do that, you're gonna have a very high renewal rate of network security. So that's situational awareness. Number two, create a strategic plan. What are you all gonna do for Q2, Q3, Q4? You have to have a strategic long-term plan. But if you have that plan but no tactical plan, it's gonna be really hard to achieve your strategic plan. So if you have a one-year goal, but you don't know what you're gonna do day one, day two, week one, week two, to get to Q1, Q2, you're gonna make it very hard to achieve the goals that you want. Strategic execution, stakeholder communication. When you're talking to a business owner that's a decision maker, you need to know exactly what that person likes and how to communicate with them to make them feel special. When I bought our network security, the company knew what I liked. So they would talk to me about that. Oh, hey, Mark, let's go check out a Ravens game. Like, they went above and beyond to make sure that they were talking to me in a way that I liked it and understood, and that have had me continue to give them my business. Performance visualization. Number one is when you're talking to people, it is absolutely important to be cognitive not emotional. If a person you're speaking to, a stakeholder, a client, is not happy with the service, do not become emotional. It's not personal. They are the client, so be cognitive. Hear them out. What is their issues? What is their problem? How can you help create value to fix that problem? The worst thing people do is when someone on the other line they're trying to work with or is their client is emotional, then they get emotional. And then when you both are emotional and you start arguing, nothing good comes of it, and more likely than not, you will lose that client. So be cognitive, not emotional. Here's my final thought, I'm gonna leave you with. Be confident in your ability to succeed. Cisco hired you for a reason. They don't have to hire just anybody. Trust me, there are companies out there that do that. So the fact you're here, you should be confident in your abilities. But remember, people you're dealing with are exactly that. They're people. They are emotional, they sometimes are cognitive. They have good days, they have bad days. They are reasonable, and they can be pricks. It is what it is. But you have to understand something. You have to go through that, push through that, and give them a high value presentation, excellent customer service, and are consistent delivering them value throughout the entire process. And if you do that, you have the best chance of renewing that network security client. Thank you.